Hi, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited to be back, you guys. I have missed you so, so much. I am so excited to be down here filming. I have some new products I want to share with you guys. So if you want to see what those products are and how I came up with this look, please continue watching. And if you're new today, I hope you stick around and hit that subscribe and notification bell and join our amazing family here. Okay, you guys, let's go test some new makeup. Like I said, I am so excited to be back. I cannot thank you guys enough for, you know, all the get well wishes, uh, all the love, the good vibe, the prayers. It meant so much to me. You guys are so amazing. I felt all the energy and I think you guys healed me because I truly, truly did. And, you know, I was so devastated that I could not film and be with you guys on Monday. I look so forward to that, you know, posting a video, uh, reading the comments, talking with you guys. So my Monday was just so depressing. I was so sad, you guys, but I'm glad I put out the community tab because at least I felt some kind of connection with you guys. And again, I thank you so, so much. Okay, I, we have a lot of new products to test out today. What started all of this was I happened to see a new bronzer by LA Girl over on Instagram um, by a gal that I follow, you guys. She is so talented and amazing. Her name is Rose. She goes by Rose and Ben, I believe, over, over on Instagram. If you don't follow her, you need to because she is truly truly talented and I get a lot of my ideas, tips, tricks, honestly, from her. And I sometimes just tweak it to, you know, for me because she is much younger. But anyway, I saw this bronzer and I just had to have it. And you know me, you know, I go to a website to get one thing. It ends up with one thing leading to another, you know, you know how that goes. My voice is still a little off, you guys. So if I sound a little weird, you know, it's because of the cold or whatever I had flu. Um, it definitely was not COVID because I did test uh, for that several times because the symptoms really did mimic it big time. So I was convinced I had it and I did not. Okay, you guys, let's get started. There's a lot of new products to be testing out today and I'm super excited. I hope I remember how to put on eyeshadow. <laughs> it's been a while, you guys, even when I went to work. Um, I, yeah, very minimal. So anyway, I'm going to uh, prime my eyes with my usual, my favorite. Um, this is the Onest. I get it on Amazon. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the eyelids. And I'm actually going to use a brush today. I want to see if that helps because uh, lately, you know, like the other day when I went to put on uh, that eyeshadow, it just seemed like it didn't want to stick in that one area. So I'm just going to see if a brush helps out the, that situation. So yeah, that, um, that applied well with the brush as well. Um, so you guys, yeah, I, you would not have recognized me. I don't even know what I was thinking trying to film when I did. Um, when I get really sick, it's usually a head cold. It started in my chest and then it went into my head. And whenever that happens, you guys, my eyes water uncontrollably. And I swear, I looked like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> this one eye was almost completely shut. And I'm trying to film, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So anyway, the first uh, new product that I am going to be uh, testing out here is uh, the LA Girl, and it's the Nudie Cutie Palette. They have two new uh, palettes that I noticed, and um, I got I chose this one. The other one, you know, was just a lot of bright colors, and it would be perfect for sp uh, spring or summer. But this one's just really nice. Their packaging is just amazing. I mean, this is nice, hard plastic, and yeah, I just think that their packaging is very, very nice and luxe. Um, there's a huge huge mirror in this. I mean, it is <laughs> very big. I did swatch these already and I'll put, you know, a little clips here and there, but um, these are the shades here. So yeah, a very neutral, um, very uh, nudie, <laughs> very nudie cutie. But when I was swatching these, I noticed that these two rows here are more like a cool tone pinks. Um, it might be hard to tell in this lighting. And these two rows here were more warm tone. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to stay um, I can't decide if I'm going to go into the more pinks or more nudes. Let's just do nudes, you guys. I attempted that the other day, and it did not work out. So let's, you know, let's try that today. Uh, so I'm going to go in. I'm trying to see which brush I want to start with. Um, and I think I'm going to just start with this shade right here that looks pretty uh, neutral. And we're just going to pack on 
my brush and hopefully it's not too pigmented. Now when I did swatch these, these did not swatch super good you guys, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, I find that out, you know, when I go to swatch something, uh, they could swatch beautifully and perform horribly. So um, I don't base a lot on a swatch. I just usually swatch to um, really know the color or the shade more than anything. Okay, so that went on really nice. I did pack the brush on uh, pretty good with the product. So, um, but it's not super pigmented and it's just almost right. You know, this is definitely one I think you can build up. So I know a few of you were also um, not feeling well uh, either. So um, I hope you guys are feeling better and um, it wasn't anything too serious. And one of our friends here, she did get the COVID really bad and I've been talking with her and she's still uh, not feeling good. And it's been, I think, over a month. And uh, bless her heart though, she still keeps her spirits and she makes me laugh every time uh, we talk. So I uh, yeah, bless her heart, she is just a trip. But yeah, she's not doing well. So give a prayer for her um, that she gets better in her family because I know her daughter also got it as well. Okay, you guys, I really like that shade. Um, it's just very, very nice and soft and you know, not too loud. It, again, it blended beautifully. Okay, so I think the next shade I'm going to go attempt uh, here is this one there. And just put that on my outer corner. Yeah, and this is more like a really nice, uh, rich, you know, brown. It looks like it has uh, some maybe almost like a, a brick shade undertone um, is the only thing I can explain for that shade here, but it is super, super pretty. So I'm basically just going to stay on the outer corner here. Yeah, these are blended really nice, you guys. I am super impressed, but I'm always impressed with LA Girls uh, shadows. I think they are super underrated. Um, yeah, and you guys know how much I loved their holiday palettes, and yeah, this is uh, this is really nice as well. And I'm not having that uh, patchiness issue <laughs> like I did the other day, so yeah, it definitely was that palette. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking. And I think I'm going to just take a little a small brush here. And I'm actually going to uh, mix these two shades. It looks, you know, this is the black. And this is a super, super rich brown. So I'm just going to mix those two just a little bit. Tap that off. You guys know how I love mixing things. And I'm just going to keep that on this outer corner here as well. Yeah, and that just added just a little bit of dimension there. I love to deepen out uh, my outer corners uh, with my hooded eyes. I just think, you know, it draws like a nice attention there. And somehow it just widen, makes me feel like my uh, eyes are a little bit wider. And then for a shimmer, I think I'm going to use this shade right there. This looks super pretty. And when I swatch them, they seem super, super buttery. And it seemed like they, uh, you know, the glitter didn't go everywhere. And yeah, there's like almost like an adhesive uh, in their shimmers. And that's what I just absolutely love. Um, it's not like flying everywhere. I don't have to worry about it going uh, into my lower lid. So uh, I really, really enjoy these. That is really, really pretty. This is so pretty. Hey, you guys, it's almost like there is something in these to really make them um, stick to the eye and not have glitter flying all around. So I really love this palette. The formula is amazing. It was super easy to come up with this look. Super impressed and happy with that. Okay, so I did get those new NYX. Um, these are the Epic Smoke Liners. And I got mine, um, one in black and one in brown. And I think I'm going to use the black one here. What I've been seeing with these is people pretty much line them. And um, you can either smoke them out with this little brush that they have on the other side. So let's just take a look. So this is the side with the brush. Um, this kind of brush, I don't know, it just kind of worries me that it's not going to do the trick but what i've been seeing it does uh so hopefully you guys can see the little bristles on that and then on this side there is a 
uh, an angle, but it's almost like a triangle. Um, hopefully you guys can catch that. So let's uh, let's try it, you guys. Um, I normally, you know, use a liquid eyeliner on the top, as you know, but we're going to give this a try. So I think I'm going to start with my outer corner, and I'm just going to, you know, put some product here. I'm not going to be pretty precise about it um, because I will be smudging it. So I'm going to put quite a bit of product. Now I'm going to take that other side with the brush. Okay. Um, you guys see what that just did? Okay, well, uh, I like that. And it goes on pretty easy. I was a little worried um, it might be too dry and, you know, my eye would not, you know, it wouldn't glide across the eye easy, but it, it does. Okay, that was super, super easy. Um, and I bet you could just smudge this out too. You could probably really smudge this out, make it super smoky. You could probably just use this on your eyelid um, as like a shadow and really smoke it out. I'm really impressed with that. I wish it was just a little bit more um, black, but um, you know, I, it's a it's a pencil. I gotta, you know, it's not going to be like you know our liners, so or liquid liners. But I really, really like this. Yeah, that was super, super easy uh, to do. These are perfect if you struggle uh, with a wing. Again, it's super per, uh, forgiving. You don't have to be super precise. Like these, you guys. You know what I forgot to use? Um, I do have a new lip oil, and my lips are super, super dry. So let me grab that. And this is by LA Girl as well. Now, this one I have tried already, and I absolutely love it. It feels so nice on the lips. There, There's a slight scent. Uh, it's probably hard for me to smell anything right now, but I do think I'm smelling like a coconut uh, on this, so... Mm, yeah, my lips really needed that. So, yeah, I really love this lip oil. It's just very soft, lightweight, but it does nourish my lips. Okay, you guys, let's move into the complexion. And I'm going to use my LA Girl. I've had this, uh, the tinted foundation. And for what I, you know, from what I can remember, I think I liked it. Um, it does say it's buildable, natural finish. I do remember it is super, super um, sheer, though. It's more for like a natural, everyday, um, you know, you're just going out to really just kind of even out your skin tone type of day. So I am going to cheat a little bit, you guys, um, and I'm going to be putting this under it. And it's the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector, you guys. I absolutely love this as my primer. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with it. So it always just adds just a little bit more a coverage to when I wear something this lightweight. Yeah, my nose is peeling all through here, you guys. I am still a hot mess. So I'm just going to move the product around because I don't use this a lot. But this is the packaging, and I got mine in the shade Medium Beige. And then it has like a cool little applicator here. I just like that. I don't know why. But I'm still going to put that on my palette. Now, the weird thing about this, you guys, it's super, super thick. Um, but again, it does not add a lot of coverage. But let me first go in with my Maybelline 4 and one and just put a very light layer. Um, you guys, again, I love this because um, it gives me just a little bit of coverage and a glow under anything that um, I put over it. And also, um, it just, I feel like it, my makeup just lasts so long when I use it. You guys, you know what I forgot I have? I have this LA Girl Hydrating Mist in Pineapple. You know what? I'm just going to put it on now, you guys. Um, I don't care. I just really want to try it. I probably should have put this on. Well, I definitely should have put this on before I put that. But let's just try it. You guys see what the mist is like. Um, again, it's supposed to smell like pineapple. Let's see if that is the case. Oh, it does a little bit. And the mister seemed really nice. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Um, if you do not like pineapple uh, scent, then you definitely will not like that because I'm still a little congested and I can smell that. So it felt very refreshing. I would love to try that 
uh, before <laughs> I put anything on my face because it is super refreshing. Okay, so let's go in with this LA Girl and refresh my memory how I like it. <laughs> I honestly do not remember. I thought I liked it when I uh, tried it out the first time, so hopefully I still like it. Let me fix my mirror here. And I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, and this is the Ultimate Blending Brush. Yeah, this is super, super sheer. I feel like I'm not getting any coverage. Yeah, I really don't know if I got any coverage, you guys. So I'm going to try using my fingers um, to see if that does help. Maybe that's what I did before. I uh, Usually with these kind of products, that's what I do. Yeah, that did help a little bit. I really honestly, you know, remember more coverage than this. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the NYX, and this is the Bear With Me, and I got mine in the shade Vanilla, and I'm going to use this brush from um, Rose and Ben. So it's the same gal that I was telling you about. She also has brushes, and I'm just going to put a little bit, the usual, and I'm just going to use my finger uh, at first just to blend this in. Because I find with this um, concealer on me, I do need to apply more than usual in my inner corner. It is super, super creamy. Um, that's what I do love. But on me, for some reason, um, I do have to apply more than usual. I just find like it doesn't cover that um, darkness that I have in this inner corner as much as I would like. So usually what I do is use like a color corrector um, when I do use this. And then for powder, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I love this powder. Um, it is just so nice. And this will hopefully add just a little bit more coverage um, on the face here. So that's what I'm kind of hoping because this, yeah, the LA Girl is very, very, very sheer, you guys. And then I am just going to use my little poof poof uh, just to add a little bit extra coverage around my T-zone. That NYX, bear with me, does crease pretty heavy under my eyes, and I don't know why. Um, I don't know if you guys have that problem, but it does crease, so I do have to set it with just a light dusting of powder, and I just used my NYX, bear with me. So, uh, yeah, do you guys get that with the, with the um, NYX here, the bear with me uh, concealer serum? Um, I might be the only one where it creases really bad under my eyes. Hey, you guys, here is the bronzer that started all of this. Uh, it's their new matte bronzer, and look how huge the packaging is on this. And I got mine in the shade uh, Back to the Beach, and yeah, it is so nice. Huge pan. Look at this, you guys. Their packaging is just amazing. And I don't really smell anything maybe, you know, super slight. But let's try this, you guys. It looks like a beautiful shade. Uh, it looks like a little, you know, cool tone, what I absolutely love. Hopefully, I didn't put too much on this brush, you guys. So let's just go in. Ooh, I love the shade. And this does seem like one uh, that is buildable, which you know how I love that. I'm just going to tap that in just a little bit. So yeah, that is the shade. Ooh, I love this. It does remind me a little bit um, the shade of my Milani one um, that I absolutely love. So, um, but I love how big this pan is. This is amazing. This will last forever. And a lot of my um, bronzers and stuff, you guys, I do like to uh, tap it in more than swipe. Um, I just don't want to disturb uh, my foundation, especially this one underneath because, um, yeah, I find if I tap it more, um, then it just kind of stays where you want it, you know, where you're putting it instead of just swiping and moving everything too much around. Oh, I really like this shade. It really just added a nice uh, warmth to my face and that it needed it <laughs> desperately. I'm really loving this bronzer a lot. I'm super, super glad um, that I did get that, and she just fell in love with it, you guys. And she uses, you know, 
a lot of high-end um, and she liked it better than one of her high-end products. And then for blush, I chose um, this one here. It's through LA Girl. I don't think I've ever tried any of their uh, blushes, you guys. And this is in the shade uh, Just Playful. And so this is what the packaging looks like on that. That is the shade here. Uh, super pretty. I hope it's not too light. And I'm, they also had a nice shimmer one too. And I almost got that one, but I decided just to stay uh, all matte here. So let's put this on and hopefully it goes okay with this look. Ooh, that is really pretty. And I am just going to put a little bit in my uh, shadow here. Again, just to have everything look like it goes together. I love the shade. You guys, again, the bronzer and the blush has saved the day. Um, I love this blush. Super beautiful. Ooh, love that. Okay, you guys, I forgot I grabbed this too. It's an eye topper. These are new through LA Girl too. Uh, it says Dream Glitter on it, and I got mine in the shade Rose Gold. So do we dare try that over this beautiful eye look? But let's do it, you guys, uh, because I did want to try this as well. They had a lot of different uh, shades. So let's take a look at this shade. Here is the applicator. Ooh, that is so pretty. So let's... Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, hopefully this doesn't ruin this eye look because I really, really like it. So I think I'm actually going to use uh, what's on the back of my hand. And let me just grab my little crayon case brush. Just put a little bit on that. Let's just see what this does. Oh, that is really super pretty. And yeah, this is definitely one you'll be able to build up on. Um, that, yeah, hopefully you guys can tell. Um, let me just take it from the applicator itself and put a little bit on just so you guys can get a better idea. Ooh, this is super pretty. And I bet you this, if you even wore it on, a, on its own, uh, yeah, it's definitely one that you can build up to make it as bold as you want. Um, yeah, super, super, super pretty. <laughs> like that. So I'm super glad I tried that. And let's just keep it on the back of my hand. Look at that. It doesn't really move all around once it dries down. So that is good to know. Okay, so once you put it on, it's probably one that just stays there. Okay, so let's go back into the palette. Do I want to do? Yeah, let's go back into the palette. And I'm going to use uh, that first shade, that starting shade there. And I'm just going to put all that in my whole lower lash line. I think I want to go back into that uh, NYX black liner and see what it does under here. So I'm just going to put... A little on my outer corner and really smoke that out. Ooh, I like these. Hopefully it stays put and doesn't kind of smear around throughout the day, but like everything, you guys, I'll put that in the description box below. Okay, you guys, so, so far, so good. I'm loving all my new products. I did get a new mascara. Uh, it's not through LA Girl or NYX or anything. It's through Maybelline, but it's the new Sky High. And I think it's the same formula, to tell you the truth. I think it's more just a new shade, um, and it's called Cosmic Black. So, you know, of course, I wanted to try it, and I love the black packaging, actually. Look how beautiful uh, that is with pink or rose gold writing and yeah that is super super pretty i love the packaging uh you guys know how i'm a sucker to that okay so let's take a look at the wand um again it's the same wand and again it's super bendy that is the only thing i do not like about that mascara is this wand but i love the formula and i love the bristles on the wand itself it's just very like flimsy, but um, yeah, I will bear with it just do uh, because I love it so much. 
Okay, I don't know what the difference in the shade is. Hmm, super beautiful though. It's, you know, I, very similar to the other one. So I don't know what this is. I think it's just supposed to be a shade. Let me look real close and let me see if there's any like glitter or anything in it. But no, I don't. Maybe it's just super black um, because it is. But I really can't tell a difference between this um, and the original formula. Maybe if I was to put them side by side, but um, hmm. But that is one coat here, you guys. Yeah, I mean, there's no denying it. It's a great uh, mascara, but for you, you know, to run out and get this, except if you love the packaging, um, but it's the same as the other one, I think. So that is with uh, two coats, yeah. Love this mascara, even right out of the gate, you know, it is amazing. But I'm just going to see if I have any of uh, little flakes anywhere and hopefully this light isn't causing an issue here but I can see a lot better with this little light on okay so I did get a new lipstick from them um and it's a matte formula and it's in the shade snuggle how cute is that you guys let's see if this it does it has that little um like lip balm this is a lip balm, you guys. I don't know if you guys ever seen my short uh, video on TikTok, or I think I mentioned it here, but it, this one's like a gloss. So, um, yeah, this comes off, you guys, and there's something in there. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. Okay, and then I already had uh, one of the LA Girls uh, Sh Super Shock Wave, and this uh, lip liners, and this is in the shade Nude. So hopefully these two go together. I'm so excited. That that's a lip balm, you guys. You know the little things that make me so happy. And that's really creamy, very nice formula. That is the liner there. Uh, it's a little bold, so hopefully this will calm it down. Again, this is in the uh, shade Snuggle. So let's take a look at that. Hmm, that's more like a pink shade than it looked. Uh-oh. Hopefully I can make this work. Yeah, it definitely looked more nude. Okay, that's not even the same color. <laughs> oh, my word. And you guys, this was sealed, so I do know that... Uh, I don't know if they put the wrong shade in there, but okay. That worked out somehow, you guys. I think we're going to be okay. And then, you know what I think I want to do just for craziness is put this over. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand here and just put a little bit of that. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, so you guys, you can use this for multi-uses. I love that. Okay, you guys, so this is just this is just cracking me up. Although I love the lip balm on here, yeah, this is ridiculous how that's not even close to the shade uh, that's on the cap. Okay, one last product here, you guys. Um, I got the new NYX Thick It Stick It, and I have tried this already, and I love it, you guys. Um, I used it for a TikTok, and um, it comes like in this a squeezy tube. It is a exact dupe to my favorite um, by Too Faced, uh, the brow wig, if you guys remember that. This has fibers, and this has fibers in it as well. So I will show you. You'll probably be able to see them. See right there, that is a fiber. Um, of course, you don't want that much product on there. But yeah, again, there's like just these little tiny fibers in there and this stuff I'm going to tell you what you do not need a lot and once you get it down they're not moving so let me just get my five times there and yeah the other day um, when I used this for the first time um, I didn't have any liner on or anything and I just put these on and my brows did become pretty full so 
Uh, again, the little fibers do that. Once it dries down, you really can't even go back in to add more. So that, you got to move kind of quick with this one. It's like Aquanet for your eyebrows. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think that is it. I think I tried uh, everything new that I got from them. Okay, so let's talk about the products, you guys. And let me just t put my hairdo down and see how everything looks. Um, I really love everything pretty much, you guys. I love this palette. It is so worth it. I think it was $15.99. Um, again, and you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 16 shades in here, a huge mirror. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to try this row uh, here next time. So super happy with this purchase. I absolutely love love this bronzer i think it is just the perfect shade for me um and i think i want to say there was only two shades maybe i can't remember um but i did have to get this on their website they did not have this in the stores that i've seen i absolutely love their little blush here i love this shade it looks so light in the pan but boy you get a lot of color payoff i really really love this i did find this in the store um, I love the mascara, you know, same, it's the same old, same old, you guys. Um, I really love this topper. I might go back and get more shades. I love that I was able to use it on my eyes and just add like a little bit in the lip uh, to add just a little pizzazz there. I love the eyeliner so far. Um, if it starts, you know, smearing or transferring, I'll let you guys know on that. Uh, the lipstick, that was kind of comical, you know, I love the formula and I love the shade it's just not what I thought here but I do love that there's a little balm in there uh the lip oil was super nice this was super refreshing I think I'm going to be using this a lot you know prior to putting on all my makeup really really like that uh their lip liners are really nice especially this uh super shock formula and what else did I get or oh, the the brow uh formula that it's really nice, you guys, but it's super intense. I mean, intense, stiff. So I think that is it, you guys. Um, Everything that I talked about today, uh, if I forgot anything, I'll put it in the description box below. But I'm super happy how this turned out. Oh, oh, the foundation. Um, I don't know about what that, you guys. You know, it's super light coverage. It looks really nice, though, now that I put all the products over it. So I'll let you know how it held up throughout the day. Um, but yeah, you guys, I am so thankful to be back. I am so happy to be back. Sorry if I sounded really hoarse today or, you know, weird, but you know, when you're sick, <laughs> this is this what happens. But again, I appreciate all the love, the support, uh, prayers, everything that you guys gave me. You guys are everything to me. I missed you so much. I'm so glad to be back. And yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, if you please hit that like button, it really does help this channel and this video go out there. I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. And until next time.